Howdy fretless folks. Today I'd like to show you how to play Hurt by Johnny Cash on the fretless cigar box guitar just using a slide. We're tuned to G, G, D in the middle, and then high G. If you're new to slide, always try to hold your slide perpendicular. And it's a good idea to mute behind it with a finger like I am up here. Makes for a cleaner sound. All right. So the first chord is A minor, but because of how we're tuned, it's called a 1-5-1 tuning. This is a G chord, G5 chord. So if we go up to the second fret, that would make it an A5 chord. And that's the first chord of our song. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the low string, then the middle string, and then strum the chord. That gets us very similar to what Johnny Cash did on the record, or his guitar player. Then we're going to go up to the 5th fret, which is C, and we're going to arpeggiate it, which means we're going to pick each note separately. So that was low, middle, high, and then we're going to go back to the low and go up to 7. This is now D, and we're going to go low, middle, high middle. So I'll do that slow with the, I can explain it here. First chord, A, technically minor, but it doesn't matter to us. So, low, middle, strum, fifth fret, low, middle, high, low, seventh fret, low, middle, high, middle, back down to two. I'll do that a little closer to the speed. So that's the first part of the song, and you keep doing that until it's time for the next part of the song. And how you get into that is when you're up on the 7, you go to G, which is open, for four beats. Just like that. That's kind of a interlude or a transition to bring us into the next part of the song. Very simple. One, two, three, four. And if you wish, if you're using a pick, you can just strum it. And it's very strong because it's actually changing to piano on the record, so it's very like striking. Also, with the left hand of the piano, there's a low note, so you could do it like this. You can do that with the whole next part. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it real simple. Just four beats. So, now we're into part two of the song, which is A minor again. Four beats. And then an F chord, which for us is up on fret 10. C chord, and then G chord. Does that one more time, and then it does a slight variation, A, F, G, and G again. So that'd be actually your third go round, and the last go round, the fourth one, A again, F, G, but only for four beats. And right into. So I hope you have lots of fun with that. Um, if you're new to slide, you notice here, I think you can see I have a snark tuner up here. When you're doing something like this F chord up here, 
that's quite a ways up the neck and until your ear gets really good or maybe it already is but just in case it isn't you can go up there and put your tuner on and make sure that you're in tune with that chord and if it doesn't quite match up to your marks that came with the guitar don't worry about that worry about the tuner if it's like here or here because ultimately you want to worry about your ear and perhaps the people listening to you you don't really want to worry too much about exactly where the marks are when you're using a slide okay have a great day have a lot of fun with that bye